Hey guys, um, welcome back to Two Fat Girls. It's me, Mandy, and I was totally, totally rocking out to Aria's speed wagon just now because, um, hold on, this song is good too, but. So, Aria speed wagon is on my 80s channel, and they're coming to, um, my cat. They're coming to um, Fort Knox this summer, and I totally want to go see them because I think they've been in Kentucky or like the Louisville area, which is kind of where I'm at, like three times. I think this will be the third time. Um, and they're coming with sticks. I've already seen sticks. Sticks is okay, but I really want to see Aria speed wagon, um, mainly because I want to hear that song. Yeah. Anyway, so this is my first uh, way in, I guess. In like two weeks, which is, if you watch my other video, you'll know why. Because I don't want to get into that because it'll make my brain hurt. So, I have decided, um, I have a list. I'm, I'm trying to decide what I want to tell you first. So, I've decided that I do not care about a decimal on the scale anymore. I'm only going to be looking at the whole number. Because decimals are just more numbers that are going to piss me off. So I've decided I don't give a fuck about the decimal point. So no more blah, 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 point four, blah, 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 point five. I don't care anymore because, like I said, that's just more numbers for me to be anxious about, and I just don't need that. So um, I was two, the last time I weighed in, I was 254. I weighed in today, and I was 249. So that's what, down like five pounds. So that makes me really happy. So um, I guess, what have I done different that I haven't been doing? I've tracked every single thing I've eaten. And um, I was drinking that Dr. Oz tea, which I told you guys about that. I don't know whether or not that really had very much to do with it. But I was drinking it, and I took some pictures of it. So, um, yeah, here's Dr. Oz's tea. Okay, Dr. Oz's tea is by Dr. Oz, and it is eight cups of green tea, which the kind that I use is like, you know, you like put it on the stove, you have to do a little bag, which it was funny because I have never, like I hate tea, so I've never had to make tea. So the first time I made it, Tippers was here, and Tippers had to show me how to open the tea bags because apparently I was doing it wrong, and she was like, that sounds really filthy. But anyway, she was like, uh, you're totally doing this wrong, and you're supposed to do it like this, and then she opened it the right way, and... Apparently, I was doing it wrong and, like, ripping all the paper off that I wasn't supposed to rip off. So, I don't drink tea. Um, so, it is eight cups of green tea. It is one entire tangerine, which you cut it up, like, slice it up, and just, like, drop it in there. And then, if you want to, because since I hate tea, like, whenever I drink it, I'll take one of the rings out and I'll, like, squeeze the juice out of it and put it in there. And then you put some mint leaves in there, which honestly, the mint leaves are like the worst part about it. Like it's got a gross minty aftertaste. So I think the next time I make it, I'm maybe not going to put as much mint in it. And then like one time, like, you know, like those little mint leaves are like tiny. And one time I swallowed one, like it came up through my straw and I was like, <clears throat> it was horrible. Um, so yeah, I totally lost five pounds and that totally makes me happy. Let me turn this down just a little bit more. So that totally makes me happy. Like when I got on the scale this morning and like I haven't been weighing myself because I'm like so happy because like I went like a two week period where my scale didn't have batteries in it. So I couldn't weigh myself. And so now it's kind of like broken me off the habit of jumping on it like five times a day. So I haven't had any inclination to weigh myself at all except for this morning. And I was like, oh my God. So yeah, that made me super excited. Oh, mm. since I lost that weight or since I've lost five pounds, like I was so freaking excited because I went like seven weeks staying the exact same weight except for the decimal moving up and down, which is another reason why I hate the decimal. So I don't care about it anymore. But I stayed the same weight for, weight. Seven, for seven weeks. So I went and I got, um, I did like some retail therapy because yeah. And so I bought like these really, like this really cool polka dot dress from um, Forever 21. And like, because I'm so obsessed with 80s music, like that was like a perfect 80s dress. And so I found the 80s dress. So now I want some like, 
I need some leggings and I want like 80s jewelry and 80s belts and I'm so freaking excited and, and I ordered some stuff um, I ordered a belt from somewhere I can't remember where it was but let me tell you why you guys know I love my 80s I love my 80s and then in my um last vlog okay you can totally stop watching after this because I'm about to talk about a tv show and you guys probably don't care but it's a British tv show and it's on BBC which I think they've put it on BBC America here and I just missed it which totally sucks I'm closing this because it makes me paranoid to talk to my window open I feel better now <laughs> so okay so I watched Life on Mars which has um Philip Glenister in it and John Sim which I watched John Sim because he was in Doctor Who and it was totally awesome and I hate it so anyway I watched that and it was only two series which I love 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 me and Tiff were talking about this I love like the fact that BBC America shows or like BBC shows or whatever they're only like eight episodes long for like a whole series whereas here in the U.S. like what one season is like 21 episodes and it's like holy freaking hell and it's like like the three series of ashes to ashes okay it's eight episodes three series okay what is that like 24 episodes that's basically a season they told an entire story in 24 episodes whereas like you know series now they're like uh, over 100 episodes like the entire series you know what i mean so Anyway, it just made me so freaking happy. And so, okay, so I watched it all. Like, it, they haven't released it here yet. Like, I think they showed it on BBC America, and I must have missed it. Um, because, first of all, I was kind of leery about watching it, because I love Life on Mars so much that I'm like, okay, they're doing the same thing only with a chick. And I'm like, that doesn't, you know, I'm like, whatever. But I love Gene. I love the character of Gene Hunt, and he was just completely awesome. And, like, Philip Glen Glenister, who plays him, is, like, freaking the shiznit so I was like okay I'm gonna go ahead and I'll try and watch it and I don't even know like I had heard about this show a long time ago and then it just started like last week I'm like I need to watch it now so I found a place to watch it online and so like I watched the first series and it was kind of a shitty place to watch it because it looked like crap and um then I found a different place to watch it and it had like all three seasons because I was having to bounce around on like different websites to watch this because they don't have it on YouTube. Like they have it on YouTube, but I can't watch it in my con in my country. You know, it's like this has not been approved by blah 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 blah. Shit. So I've been watching it, right? And I've been like completely obsessed with it all week. So last night I watched the last episode at like one o'clock in the morning. Well no, it was later than that. It was like two because I went to bed at like three. And these shows are like literally sixty minutes long. They're all like fifty eight minutes long with no commercials. So I stayed up to like 3 o'clock in the morning and I was watching the last episode. And I'm like, I don't want to spoil it too much, but let me tell you this. After I watched that episode, in which I kind of had already spoiled myself because I accidentally watched some stuff on YouTube and then I accidentally read some stuff on Wikipedia. And I didn't mean to spoil myself that much, but I usually do. So I kind of already knew what was going to happen, but I didn't know how it was going to play out. And so I watched it and oh my gosh, like I'm not even going to lie. I bawled because, okay, you know, like the biggest reason I really got into it was because it's, you know, Life on Mars and Ashes to Ashes. It's all David Bowie and they play a lot of David Bowie in like Ashes to Ashes. So that was the biggest reason I got into it. And so I watched the last episode of the series last night and like, I was already like teared up at the end, you know, then it ended and Gene said his last line and then like it fades to black and I'm like, my eyes were all teary and I was all sad and then they started playing the credits and during the credits they played David Bowie Heroes and it's like showing all the pictures and I'm like oh my god like seriously I had to text Tiffany last night at like you know three o'clock in the morning I'm like I know you're probably at work or you're asleep but I'm like I am freaking bawling over this tv show and nobody is up for me to like express myself to you know I was like so upset and then after that like all I could think about was like oh, what if somebody would have walked in here and I was bawling like that in front of the computer? They'd be like, Mandy, what the hell is wrong with you? But really, I'm like, oh, it's so sad. Ashes to ashes, Gene. And so, I mean, I was literally bawling. So, like, when I was thinking that, like, when I was thinking about that, when I was crying, the song, um, Look Away by Chicago popped into my head. So, 
Yeah, I'll put the link down there and then like imagine me bawling and then like listen to that song and it'll probably make you laugh. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Um, so that's like another reason I'm like totally into like all my 80s clothes again because like freaking Alex Drake has the most spectacular wardrobe in ever. I mean like everything was just like solid colors and like ugh, it was epic. You should totally you need to watch Ashes to Ashes anyway. But another thing I had to do was like when I was watching this show like I would be like in front of the computer like watching it and like I have like a pretty big monitor so it's pr practically like watching the TV. So I sit here with my phone and like like Jean would say something like Jean Hunt or you know somebody would say something I'm like what the hell does that mean? And so I'd like pop my phone up. I'm like, dozy mare, meaning. And then it would like tell me what it means. And then like I had to look up, what else? I had to look up dozy mare, which I kind of had a feeling it kind of meant like dumbass, which it kind of does. But I think it's more for a girl. Is that how it goes? And then um, I had to look up because he always called her Bali. And like, I know why he called her that in the beginning, because it's like champagne or whatever there. And he would call, he called her Bollinger Knickers or however you say that. But like they're like the affectionate term that they use for this particular brand of champagne, they call it Bali. So that's why he called her Bali. So I had to look that up and then I had to look up something else. Um, oh, in that one episode, she told him, she was like, get your coat. You've pulled. And I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, I, I had to rewind it because sometimes their accent is really thick and I can't understand what they're saying. So like I had to rewind it and then I listened to it again and I'm like, yeah, that's what she says. So I'm like, I get my phone out. I'm like, you've pulled. And apparently it's like British slang for, Hey, let's go have sex. <laughs> I was like, what? I've never heard that in my life. But like, seriously, this show has like some of the greatest words in it in ever. I'm going to start using some of these words in my regular vocabulary, except not the really bad ones. Some of them are really, really bad. Um, what else? Also, does anybody out there know? I don't want to do it because I think it's something bad. But okay, like... We all know what the middle finger means, okay? And, like, sometimes in the show, and they did it on Life on Mars, too, like, this is the peace sign. It's like, peace, be loved. But, like, when you turn it the other way, and it's, like, the, you know, like, imagine my hand with two fingers only turn the other way. Does that mean something bad? Is, is that, like, the middle finger? Like, seriously, somebody tell me what that means. And sometimes they would do it with two hands, and it would all be, like, you know, only imagine it with two hands flipped the other way. And I'm, like, is that something bad? I have a feeling that something bad. Um, what else? Oh, we had like all those crazy storms. Remember all those crazy storms? I think I talked about it in one video when I was like, all those storms were coming in. Well, like we didn't get hit as bad as Indiana that Friday, but like they were expecting it to be really bad and they closed down everything. Like they closed my shop down at two o'clock and they're like, uh, lock the doors. This will give you plenty of time to go home and like take shelter. And, um, so like it hailed like a maniac and we don't have a basement. So we were driving to our friend's house and it like a freaking hailstorm came down and I'll put video up here. About 20 minutes away, West Point, 23 minutes away, Roseburg, about 25 minutes away. Bottom line, if you're watching from near Irvington and all to the east of there, across southern portions of Meade County, into northern Carson County, where it's tornado warning, it's also in effect, basically Radcliffe, and points off to the north and to the West Point region. And then finally, the Sykes area, far north, of North County. Wow, that's hell! Into that basement, in that basement, until the danger has passed. That's the one heading forward. Um, yesterday we had like an insane hail storm where I work and um, I've got video of that too <gasps> my dog you're That's fine. dog you own the horrible dog
up all with, up with all the hail lately, but like it's made everything like gorgeous and green and like all the flowers are blooming and like all the trees are like pink and yellow and white. Um, I'll try and get some pictures and I'll show you like my, our trees, like we've, I think we've got like the yellow bushes and then I think the tree in the front yard, I think it turns pink before it goes green. So yeah. So, um, yeah, sorry I had to get, I had to get that ashes to ashes stuff out of my system because for real, there's nobody here for me to talk about it. And like, I can talk to you and you don't have to watch it, but at least I totally got it out of my system and I feel so much better. Plus I'm like really hyper because I lost five pounds and it makes me totally happy. Yeah. Ashes to ashes. Go watch it. It's amazing. I lost five pounds. Woohoo.